Hey guys, welcome into Lightroom. Now I'm going to show you the quick edits that I made to my camera raw of my girlfriend in the arcade and to the post I made on Instagram. As you can see, I brought out the purples into the cyans, lifted up the shadows. Now you can see more detail in the pants, definitely the facial expression. Overall, it has that Brandon Wolfel touch to it. And right now he's a big influence in the photography that I do and the uh, color grading that I do as well. So we're gonna go, let's reset this. When you go inside Lightroom, go in the develop tab. And going through this photo, you can see it's a little bit dark. Now I don't want you to get discouraged when you see this kind of photo when you're going through your uh, camera roll. Uh, Try to treat every photo equally, do the same kind of edits, um, do a little bit more or do a little bit less, try to get to the photo that you want it to be. Um, especially when you take this kind of photo or when you do photography um, as a general rule, you try to like shoot to post. You don't want to do too many edits and that's how I do my edits uh, current, really, currently. Don't want to do too much, don't want to over manipulate a photo because there's a point where you know a photo is definitely fake. So we try to stay behind that. Um, my progress first, I do basic and I try to go over to calibration. A lot of the color grading is going to come from there. Then you can go ahead and fine tune it with a HSL. So let's go to the basics. I don't want to overexpose. I'll go ahead and just add a little bit, just a little touch. Contrast, do the same. I don't like too much of the contrast. So let's go about 10. Highlights, you can see in the histogram it's clipping. And you don't want to have any clipping. You want to use as much data as you can in the photo. So we'll go ahead and lower the highlights. Let's see about there. That's enough room. Shadows. Let's go ahead and lift it. That was too much. Let's see. Right there. Whites, just a little bit more room. And that space and the blacks. We'll go ahead and lift it up. Around there. That's good detail. Didn't bring it out too much from the from the shadows. Let's go to the clarity. Just add a little bit. Vibrance. Personally, I like to add about 15, maybe 20. It adds, a little, adds more diversity into the colors that's going on the photo. Saturation, we'll go, go ahead and bring it down a bit. Sometimes the desaturation adds a little bit of the um, cinematic effect. And that's always a cool feature of a photo. And then to get that Brandon Wolf full effect, We'll go ahead and bring the greens more into the cyans. Let's see, maybe more about there. And then the blues, bring out the darks and the purple into the blue. So let's see, let's say about, about there. Let's go ahead and close it. Now let's go to the HSL and this is where we fine tune those colors. Um, so I start off with the red, just a little bit more. It's going to be between the red and the orange. Adds a little pink in there. Mm, the aqua, we'll add a bit. Now the blues, uh, keep an eye on this part. When we bring the blues down, we'll bring it more to the cyan, baby blues. Blue greens and brown there, that'll be nice. Magenta, we'll go ahead and bring it down a bit. Now the luminance, I want more of the baby blues to pop out. So add a bit there and the blues, definitely. And that's nice, that's good. You definitely get that electric neon arcade feel in this photo now. Let's go to the details, add some noise reduction, softens up the lines. Not too much though because you will get um, a lot of soft features on the photo and that's when you can tell you over manipulated the photo. 
Silluminance there, noise reduction, sharpening. I do like to add a little bit more structure to the photos. It cleans up the uh, softening a bit. Let's see, tone curves. Don't want to touch that. The contrast already is nice in the photo. Split toning. I feel like the photo's nice here because I'm not I'm bringing out a lot of two colors in the photo. The, the photo is good as is, so I'm not going to touch the toning. Let's see. Um, I think the last thing I would want to do is just add a little bit of vignette. And this brings the focus to the subject. And that's it. I'm not going to do a lot of these um, when you're on a time crunch, when you want to be as quick from a point of shoot to posting. Lightroom does a lot of what you need, so this is fine. If I wanted to go in depth, I would take the photo into Photoshop, um, soften up the skin more, um, add more of uh, emphasis on the subject, but right now, as a quick edit, this is as good as it is. Good as it gets. All right, thank you for watching.